Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you how to create your own black and white matte look for your images. I'm sure you've seen many matte looks these days. Photographers like them both in color and in black and white. I love the black and white matte look, especially to my children and my baby portraits as they give a nice soft tone to them that I think really enhances their look. Here's an example of a session that I shot in the studio. With the black backdrop, typically in this type of session, I would want a more contrasty black and white. But I didn't use studio lights for this session, I used natural window light. So instead of getting that contrast from the lights from the studio, I've got a nice soft look to my child's face. This is Lily. You can see on her face she's got a nice, nice soft light and there's a big window to this side. This type of image actually works really well for a matte look. So let's go ahead and, and pull this image into effects. On One has already done some of the hard work for you guys. Inside the preset category, there's a faded and matte section. If you click on this, we're going to open up the Quick View browser. You can see all of the matte looks that are already saved into presets for you. There's quite a few color ones, and if you scroll down, you can get to some black and whites. As you look at these, you can already see, even in this color one here, just the soft look that it has, and it just changes the mood of this image and makes me love it that much more. This matte tin black and white is one of my favorites, so I'll go ahead and grab that. I've used this quite often. You can see there's still a little bit of contrast in it, but it still has that nice softness across it that I love. So today, let's actually learn how to create our own. Let's reset this. We're going to go ahead and add a filter. And the key one here is the Tone Enhancer. This is the one that's going to create the magic that we're looking for. If you open up the Curve slider down at the bottom, there's a little arrow that you're going to toggle down. You're going to have a black point, and up here is going to be your white point. We're going to want to pull out the blacks by adjusting the black point, and we're going to pull down the whites by adjusting the white point. And this is going to achieve the flat matte look. So let's start with the bottom. We're going to grab that black dot, and you can see as I scroll it up to the top and I scroll it down, I'm going to do it kind of quickly, it's pulling those blacks out. So let's go it's probably somewhere in the middle. This is all a matter of choice and, and personal preference of what you like. You can always go back and adjust it, which we will after we add a black and white. Let's go up to the top, grab the white slider. We're going to pull the white slider down to pull some of those whites out. And now if you look, we're going to do a before and after. You can see that we've taken pretty much most of the contrast out of the image, so you now have a nice flat gradient. Pretty much once you've added this and once you've made the adjustments to the two curves, you have a matte look. And you can pretty much get away with anything at this point, whether or not you want to turn it into a black and white, whether or not you want to add a color, like you can see on the left here, a color tone to it, you can do that as well. For today, let's grab a black and white. And as soon as we add that, even with the default, we've already got our black and white matte look. I would probably go back to my tone enhancer and make a little bit adjustments on those sliders. I'm going to pull back a little bit so I can keep still a little bit of that contrast. I don't like to go too flat with mine. Let's pull this up just a little. And then I like to grab the detail slider in that pane and pull a little bit more contrast back in some of those details. So you can see if I pull this down, it's going to get blurry. If I pull it up, you can see that in her eyelashes are kind of sharpening that a little bit and adding a little more contrast. So let's pull that in right there. And that would be my, my way of creating a black and white matte look. I would save this out as a preset. That way I could use it for the entire session so that the same tones and the same look goes across the series of images. I would also take it once I get to this point and maybe make some adjustments um, and create a couple more presets. If you wanted to go up and add a toner, you could add a, um, one of these tones to it to give it a nice warmth. I would say like a black tea, and then you have a little bit of a warm tone matte look. But I encourage you to, to play with that a little bit. Once you've got kind of the look that you're hoping for, go ahead and add some extra filters, play around with it, save them out as presets, and create your own matte looks.